off out camping at Loch Kennard in the Griffin Forest Park and on this little adventure I'm off out with two other YouTubers and I'll also be reviewing a new tent so stay tuned Need to redo the tent, it's inside out. So today I have with me the Nature Hike Cloud Up 2. It was given to me by Nature Hike themselves to do a little review on. Now today and tonight, not quite testing conditions as it's to be primarily dry with a little bit of wind. Now the Cloud Up 2 is a two person tent. The material is nylon, it's 20 denier and it only weighs in at 1.7 kilograms. So looking forward to tonight's sleep as I always enjoy testing out a new tent. It's a roomy enough two man tent, standard size really. Um, the headroom's okay at six foot three, drink. Not the greatest, but it's really, really just for sleeping in. It's got a standard sized vestibule so I've got all my stuff there, I'll give you a closer look in a second. So tonight's sleeping system, I have with me the new Black Ice G700 sleeping bag as temperatures are to get down to around minus two, so testing conditions for the sleeping bag. I also have with me the Thermarest Neowear X-Lite. Our value on that's supposedly 4.2, but to be honest with you, I've had it down to below freezing on multiple occasions and in my experience, I've not found it to be that warm of a mat, so me personally, I've been disappointed with it. However, other people do speak highly of it. And I've got my two closed cell phone mats with me, and the, oh, I forgot the name of it, the Trichology pillow. So the headroom isn't too bad at the front of the tent, but it gets lowered down the further back you go. And Gus has with him tonight the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2. Now the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 is a very spacious two man tent. Great room on the inside and great headroom, especially at the ends of the tent. It's got two symmetrical vestibules. You've got a pocket here and a lantern hanging point up here. And to be honest with you, the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 is actually one of my favourite tents especially given the amount of space that it has. So Gussie's sleeping system for this evening, he has the Climate 
insulated static V sleeping mat. Now I've had that in the past and I've not been too impressed with it. I've had nothing but problems. Plus the R value on these mats are heavily disputed. They claim to be around 4.4 but I reckon it's around the 2.8 mark. Still good enough for the temperatures that we're expecting tonight. He has a synthetic sleeping bag with him, the Mountain Hardware sleeping bag. He says that the comfort rating on that is around 0 Celsius and limit temperature minus 6. So ideal for the temperatures that we are expecting tonight. And he has with him a very, very thick closed cell phone mat. So Gus really should experience a warm sleep tonight. And finally we've got Wally set up. Wally's went for full on DD. He's got the DD tarp, the DD hammock and the DD under blanket. His sleeping system, he has, what's the name of the sleeping bag? Bike and hike. Bike and hike, yeah. Bike and hike, is that a down or synthetic? Down, duck down. Duck down sleeping bag with a comfort rating of around minus two and limit of right. minus nine. He has the Caramore Explorer yep. sleeping so mat. Now, I didn't know Caramore did sleep mats, but apparently it's a very old one, very old. How many years? It's 10 or something, yeah. 10 or more years, that's pretty impressive. It is bitterly cold, so we're going to get a little fire on the go while we cook. Meet Gus Explores everyone. Where's the meeting? <laughs> Plenty of spaces to camp here. Up in the woods you can also pitch a tent or do some hammocking. And you can also get a few tents here. Yep, I can see it's being sorted for tonight and it's going in there. And it's time to get the fire on the go as we are starting to lose light. We have a fire in here as it's a bit gusty and it will protect us from the cold bitterly winds.
Yeah, we've got a little bit of snow, but it's not going to amount to much. So, Wally's having steak, onions and holiday. It's snowing again! Camping in the snow! Noodle time! We have an unexpected guest. Bedtime. That's around 11 o'clock and we're hoping to get up around 8 o'clock in the morning. We've had a couple of snow showers but it's not amounted to much and temperatures are around freezing and it's expected to get down to minus 2 so it's going to be a good test for the sleeping bag and sleeping mat so I'll catch you all in the morning. Hot chocolate to warm us up in the morning. Can't find my spoon. We've got a little bit of ice on the tent. Gives you an idea how cold it was last night. So a uh, great sleep last night, got about eight and a half hours and five or six sleep paralysis episodes. So temperatures got below freezing last night, as you can see there has been some ice formed on the tent. So that gives an indication just how cold it was. Now I reckon it got down to around minus two, but Gussie's thermometer picked up minus five. So the Black Ice G700 sleeping bag, I was very, very, very toasty and really impressed with it so far. So, um, first impressions, in the icy cold weather, it performed to the task. Um, the Thermarest Neowear X Lite, again, I felt like I was losing heat, especially through my hips. Whenever I press my hand on it, I can feel the warmth gathering on the mat, but when I'm directly sleeping on it, mm -mm, I find it to be quite chilly. But given I felt like I was losing heat through the sleeping mat, the sleeping bag kept me nice and warm. A quick first impression on the Nature Hike Cloud Up 2. It's a spacious um, one-man tent. It is a two-man tent, but it's quite a, two, quite a tight two-man tent. But yeah, if you want to get in there with your missus or whatever, 
be nice and cosy but it's an ideal one man tent especially given the weight's only 1.7 kilograms you've got a bit of space next to your sleeping system and a reasonable enough vestibule reasonable enough sized vestibule so what we're going to do now is check how the guys got on during the night right so Gus how was your sleep last night? my sleep was amazing really cosy the, the insulated static V though I don't believe that our rating on that it's, it's not great uh, but my sleeping bag is perfect yeah I highly doubt the R value in the climate as well but the sleeping bag was at Mountain Hardware? Mountain Hardware, Laminia Flame, something like that something like that, ok yeah, it goes down to minus 6 uh, spot on for last night and you were nice and toasty? yeah, my tent's great, I, I love this tent and you love the Nature Hike Cloud Peak I, I've never met anyone who doesn't like the Nature Hike Cloud Peak such a cheap and reliable tent it's the space in it though that yeah. sells it for me two it, vestibules, you've got your gear in one and you climb in through the other two great size vestibules I, I think it's got greater width than your normal size dome tent like that's a two man tent but that's much narrower than this bad boy here and see the headroom especially at the size of each tent you can get four people sitting in there in my opinion <laughs> oh yeah, check, try it out Try it out. Uh, next time there's a... Ne next time. <laughs> we'll go and see how Wally got on. Here's Wally. How was your sleep last night, Wally, with all your equipment? Fantastic, mate. Fantastic. Fantastic. Was it your best sleep ever? Were you saying it was your best sleep Aye. ever? Never felt the cold at all. Never felt the cold at all. What was the most impressive part of your sleeping system? Was it a sleeping bag, the sleeping mat, or just everything? About everything, actually. It, they they uh, rub booties made a big difference, they like. See, with them, with the sleeping bag. Do you normally get cold feet? Oh, cold feet, yeah. Oh, you get cold feet? Never had you down with uh, someone that gets cold feet and the rab booties kept your oh, feet nice and warm. Big time. That and so the sleeping bag, amazing. They rab down boots. Aye. Rab down boots. So if anyone's interested <coughs> in the rab down boots, check them out. I mean, I've been promoting the nature hike. It's uh, down slippers. And like the down boots, you can walk around your general uh, area, camping area. If that, yeah. But if it's slippers, it's just for the tent. But what was the... You had the Caramore sleeping mat. Caramore Explorer sleeping mat. I took my DD bear under blanket off, that makes a big difference too, like You took the blanket under blanket off? I just took it off, like, but I had that last night Oh, you had it up uh, last night? And what was the sleeping bag again? It was the... The bike and hike The bike and hike, and that was nice and toasty Amazing, mate, and it's... You've got, you're quite broad, so is it ideal for someone with broad shoulders? Aye, well, I bought the extra long end because it was wider at the top Ah, you can get the extra <coughs> long one Well, there you go, guys, yeah. everyone had a, an absolutely... Yeah. Perfect sleep. I mean, I got about eight and a half hours myself. Did I you? think Gus got about eight and a half hours. How many hours sleep did I think you I get? I woke up at twelve and then I woke up at half six. So, so you got about so eight. Happy with that, yeah, I was like, we all went to bed about ten, ten, eleven, eleven. Yeah. Perfect. What a trip, guys! Eh, what a trip. So that's us all packed up and heading home. Struggled with this little video, but that's okay. It's okay to have bad days. So if you've enjoyed the content, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button, dropped a comment and also hit the like button. So take care and see you all on the next adventure.